Okay, so how good's my Renergy 175 watt flexible solar panel? I've got two of these on my caravan. They've been on there for a year and a half, 18 months I suppose. And the one on the leading edge, uh, the very front of the van, uh, I didn't have it secured well enough. Um, and the front edge lifted at, we were traveling at about 100 k's an hour, 60 miles an hour or so, and down the highway, and the front panel lifted and a uh, motorist in an adjoining lane yelled at me and wound the window down. He says, have a look at your solar panel. And sure enough, the things bend back at 90 degrees at the front edge, which is not good for them. They're flexible, but they're not supposed to be that flexible. So I thought, well, that's not going to be good. So I got up and secured it down and continued on for the rest of the trip. But anyway, I thought I'd better replace it. So let's have a look at um, this panel um, and compare it to a new one that I've replaced with. Now, before I replaced it, I put the new panel out in the sun in midday with uh, perpendicular to the sun to make sure I got maximum output. And I was getting around uh, 9.4 amps, something of that order, 9.4, 9.5. So I thought, well, I won't get that out of this one. But I pulled this off, gave it a clean, uh, just with a brush and some water, and uh, propped it up here so it's currently facing the sun. We're about 11 o'clock in the morning in Brisbane and um, middle of the year and the sun's north of us. But um, let's have a look, see what it's doing. Okay, so here's the panel. As you can see, this is where the damage occurred. This bent up at 90 degrees. This I can't do that currently. Um, that's beyond what it's supposed to be able to do, I think. Uh, and... It got a crease all the way across here. These screw, I didn't have enough screw connections along the, particularly the front edge. I've had to put a piece of aluminium uh, all the way across this front edge to stop this lifting. The trouble was the wind got under it. So I thought, well, this isn't good. This is going to really cause a problem. Well, guess what? It hasn't. And it was quite extreme. By the way, you can screw down in these little points here. There's no panel there, so you can, you can attach using that center line. Or any of those little joints. Anyway, let's have a look, see what she's doing. So we're in full sun. So at 14 volts, we're getting 10 amps. I presume you can see that. Yeah, you can. So pretty good. That's that's as that's as good as the new one does. It's been sitting in the sun now for probably half an hour, so it's nice and warm. Uh, so as long as you've got ventilation on these panels, they perform really well. I'll just back this off a little bit so we get. So again, at 16 volts, you're still getting 9.95. So that's quite adequate to drive an MPPT. So we should be seeing, you know, probably around about, with two panels, I should be getting 20 amps out of this thing, um, you know, without any issue. So this is the old panel, new panels doing exactly the same. So there you go, 18 months old, Renergy 175 watt flexible solar panel. And this is an electronic load what I'm doing here is dumping all the power into a constant current load and that allows me to set the voltage and see what current it's drawing and this is pretty accurate uh, probably within 100 milliamps of, of, of uh, the correct amount so as you can see it's got adequate power there to drive an MPPT controller and around about that 10 amp mark uh, and the sun's in the northern part of the hemisphere for us at the moment, so it's not, um, it's still not optimum. Uh, some I would probably get, but I'm sure I've had more than, I think the two panels when I first put them on were giving me around 25 amps. So there you go. I think these are a good thing. They're supposed to have sun power cells in them, which are pretty good. And uh, performs very well. Light weight weighs three kilograms, so very light. Um, you do not ever put these things directly on the roof though because they get very hot on the back. Um, I can feel the heat off that at the moment so I recommend that that would be... I spaced mine on um, some 12 millimeter or half inch square aluminium rails, three of them, one down the middle and one on each side and simply you can screw right through this white section, there's nothing in there. That's purely a substrate, flexible substrate, so there's no problem screwing down anywhere along those white bits, including in between the cells. Um, and I've, as I said, I've had these two panels up there now for 
18 months and still pumping out excellent doing an excellent job 10 amps and that's after it's heated up now you won't get this performance out of a folding solar panel um not a folding a blanket blankets just don't perform this well so there you go they're good I th their energy stuff's pretty good i reckon i certainly don't have any problems with it. we've installed a few of these on various fans now and they're working really well that's all thought people might be interested cheers